Where did I get the shirt from? My, my girl gave it to me as a Christmas gift. Looked like a Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I like skulls. Hey, hey Lou, uh, I agree with the decision tonight with the Heather Hardy and Amanda Serrano fight, but um, I think 91 and 98 was a little, little wide. Uh, I thought I thought Heather clearly won two rounds. Yeah. Maybe you could have given her three. Right. Hey, look, here's the thing. Sometimes the scorecards don't reflect how difficult the fight it was. Amanda, I mean Amanda, Heather wasn't going to give up that belt without Amanda having to earn it. You know, and, and you know Amanda earned it, and, and Heather. Heather showed, like, Amanda showed why she's pound for pound one of the best female fighters in the world. Right. And Amanda showed why she's Arturo Gatti or Mickey Ward. And that's what she is. She's a warrior spirit of women's boxing. You know, sometimes you're lucky enough to have a fight where someone clearly wins, but nobody loses. Mm -hmm. And that's what you saw tonight, because I don't think either one of those women lost. Those women came out here tonight and they stole the show. They stole the promotion. Most of the tickets were sold to them. But they came out tonight. Look, Devin Haney's a great, great fighter. He showed it tremendous prospect but in terms of the fight of the night the fight of the night was the fight of the promotion yeah. and it was it was Serrano and Hardy and and they were fighting for something bigger than just their own pride they were fighting also for women's boxing they got a big platform and they delivered you know and I was sitting there hoping to myself that all I, I said to myself going is I want them to both walk out healthy I want them to give the best of what they are like I want them to leave it all in the ring they did it. I, I, I'm so thrilled with both women, and I'm so proud of them. And and it's a rarity in our sport where something lives up to the hype. You know, it doesn't happen that often. It happens, thank God. And that's why the sport's so incredible. But tonight, that fight lived up to the hype. I mean, and, and those women delivered. They delivered not only for themselves, they delivered for women that are going to follow them. When people look back at, at, at the history of women's boxing, tonight's going to be something they're going to remember. That's right. If Heather is uh, Mickey Ward, Arturo Gotti, who do you think uh, Amanda is? Who would you? I Mayweather or Delahoya. That's wow. right. That's wow. Not I, mean, right. I mean, I think she's, you know, I mean, I think when you look at women's boxing, there are four women that stand alone right now at the moment. And it's, and it's uh, Clarissa and Amanda and Katie Taylor and, and uh, Cecilia. You know, you're looking at the, like, you know, there's some pound for pound women. You know, like women like Persson, who gave Katie hell, she's, she's right up there too. Jessica McCaskill's coming. There are women that don't have titles, like Tiara Brown, Raquel Miller, they're coming. And Alicia Napoleon is coming. Um, and there are a lot of girls out there that are coming. Saloon or Urbina, they're, there's, they're all over the place. I mean, here's the wonderful thing. I can't even think and name all the quality women in boxing right now. When I, was, when I first got into the sport 30 years ago, there were some great women, but the talent pool was so limited. Right now, there's a very deep talent pool, and and you you literally could make a great women's fight on every single fight card we do. You could have a championship level women's fight on every card, and, and I guarantee you, with good matchmaking, a great fight every single time. The women deserve better. Thank you. They deserve more opportunities. They deserve more chances to show what they can do. Tonight, two of the best fought, and what'd you get? You got pure entertainment. And, and I don't think there was anyone in that room that didn't love that fight. And when I'm on social media just now, I, when I went through my messages and what people are saying, they're saying great stuff. Right. Because it, it wasn't, okay, you knew who the winner was, the winner was clear. But what you got was two women who gave the best of what they are, of who they are. And they both covered themselves in my mind with glory. I thought tonight, mm. I thought Amanda was great, and I thought Heather was great. I, and I thought Amanda was, you saw Amanda Serrano, what she is and how good she is. You also saw who Heather Hardy is, and, and and they should both be proud. And I think when, you know, I know I know Heather is heartbroken right now, but I think when Heather takes a breather and and she takes a couple of days and relaxes and and chills, and then she looks at what people saw in her performance tonight, I think she's going to be really really proud. I also think she's going to do better. I mean, I I don't think her career is over. I think you, I think tonight in a lot of ways was the best Heather has ever fought. And, and, I, and I think that, that um, she's going to get another opportunity to make a, a good payday, maybe another career high payday, because she earned it. And, um, and Amanda and, Amanda and, and um, Katie Taylor is a super fight. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's like, forget about male, female, whatever. It's two of the best fighters in the world fighting each other. And when they fight, that's one of the biggest fights. That, maybe when it happens, will be the biggest fight that's happened in women's boxing. Hey, Lou, um, seeing the first round, um, it seemed like Heather was in a lot of trouble, and granted, the fact that it was an extra minute. Yeah, I took minute, it. I got to admit, I got to admit, my heart was in my mouth. Yeah. 
I've mm -hmm. seen the fact of debate on two minute round, three minute round. What, what you know, I, I'm tired of fucking debating about two and three minutes. Shut the fuck up with people with their three minute round bullshit. Because the only people who keep talking about three minute rounds aren't going to accept and like women's boxing. If there were five fucking minute rounds, or 12 <laughs> fucking round right. fights, or 15 <laughs> round fights. Yeah, if anything, if you really want to look at the world today, people want quicker fights. They want more action. They don't want length. Look at MMA and its success, and part of it is because of the immediate gratification. And by the way, women can't get fucking attention or platforms or fights on cards in quantity, and making them longer is going to give women more opportunity? Please. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. And on top preach, of it, and, and, and one of them, I'm going to preach, preach. one more thing, and this is one that really bothers me. This is one that really bothers me. I'm going to ask everybody who wants to ever talk about some bullshit two or three minute round debate. I want you to Google women and head injury and Google women and concussion. And there's a reality. Women are more susceptible to head injury and concussion than men are. They're, 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 there's just a physiological difference, and that's a fact. And it's every major medical study that's been done shows the same thing. It's one of the reasons why in youth soccer, they're considering not having headers in girls' soccer matches, because women are far more susceptible to brain bleeds, far more susceptible to concussion, far more susceptible to a recurrence of a concussion, far more susceptible to concurrent concussion syndrome. So there's a lot of reasons just to leave it where it is. And here's the other thing. You shouldn't fucking make less money and take more risk than the men are taking in the same fight. Woo! Right? Talk about So it. stop with the two and three minute round bullshit. If anything, part of what made that fight was so exciting was the pace of the fight. That's the right. pace of the fight was, was, was fun. Phenomenal. It was quick, it moved, and, and in two minutes, look, the average men's three minute round, it's very rare you see, if you see a round where both fighters are going at it for three consecutive minutes, usually you see a shit round in the next round. That's true. And, 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 and most of the time, you see a three minute round. How many times do you see a three minute round where one or both of the fighters takes a minute off? So I, I don't want to, the debate, you know, particularly, I, I've made a point of doing this too. I try to see, look, it's a legitimate point and there's some purists and I get like it's not, they're not being haters. I don't think everyone that makes the point about two or three minute rounds is an idiot. But I do see a lot of the haters, the people that are never going to accept women's boxing, going, ah, women's boxing is shit, and you fight two minute rounds. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. As far as Amanda and her next possible options, because like, I think realistically, it's kind of safe to assume that the Kitty Taylor fight might not happen immediately after the next Well, we have, a, I mean, we have a, a fight, we have a deal that um, it, the fight's supposed to happen within six months. And but that being said, I mean, I mean, I, mean I, I saw that Katie's talking about moving up and fighting at 140. Amanda's not going to fight Katie at 140. I mean, Amanda's fought at 140, but let's face reality, she's not a big girl. I mean, you saw tonight, who was the bigger girl in the ring tonight? Heather exactly. was the bigger girl in the ring right. tonight. So Amanda's going to fight Katie at a weight class where it's really a pound for pound fight, and that's 135. Okay. So, so, I mean, I, do I know for certain Amanda will fight Katie next? I don't know that. Amanda can't, Amanda waited a long time for this fight. She's been over about six, eight months. And, and she needs to fight more often than that. So, you know, we're going to see what happens. And if, if, the, if the Katie fight is there and Katie's ready for it, we're ready for it. And if, it, if it's not, we're going to fight the biggest fight available to Amanda. I mean, look, Amanda's shown it already. I mean, she's, she'll move weight class or she'll do whatever. And, and let me tell you, do you think there's anybody that doesn't want to see Heather Hardy fight again? Uh, everybody wants to see Heather Hardy fight again. And I think Heather, I, 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 I think there's a decent chance Amanda will not stay at 26. And... You know, for all we know, Heather could, Heather could fight for a featherweight title again in her next fight. Lou, uh, talk about Heather Hardy. After the first two rounds, she seemed to settle in, lock in a little bit. Talk you know, it, it, here's an amazing thing. I, I don't think I've ever seen Heather make adjustments in a fight. And it was very clear that she was a better fighter in the fourth and fifth round than she was in the first two. I mean, it was very impressive. I thought, you know, look, there was another thing, too. And, and, you know, she's already spoke publicly about this. I don't think I'm stepping out of bounds by saying this. <coughs> You know, Heather, um, it's hard It's hard struggling for a living. It's hard being a single mother. Heather hasn't had an easy ride. And Heather would like, you know, would enjoy her glasses of white wine to chill and relax. And, and Heather, Heather has been completely sober now for months. And I don't think, and I don't think Heather, I don't think her physical conditioning was ever better than it was tonight. And I think that's what allowed her to survive that first round and get stronger in the fight. She was in the best physical shape of her career. And at the best she's looked, and she's 37, I mean, she's not a baby. I mean, she's, a, you know, she looked better tonight physically, and that's what allowed her to weather the storm. And, 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 and I think also the corner did a great job. They, they, whatever they were telling her in the corner, she made adjustments 
and her defense was far, far superior in the middle and late of the fight than it was early in the fight. So, and, and look, I, I, you know, Amanda must have, I mean, Amanda threw a lot of punches the first two rounds, damn. I mean, the first round, I don't know how many, I mean, I don't know if it was punched out in that fight, but she, damn, she threw a lot of punches. And she threw some major, major shots. Um, and, and very few women weather that storm. But then again, I watched Heather in a Bellator match get kicked in the head 50 times, get her nose busted all over her face, and she still didn't go down. And the doctor had to stop it in the corner. So, well, whatever, I don't know if the octagon has a corner exactly, but whatever, the doctor had to stop it. I mean, there's no quit in Heather Hardy, she showed that tonight. And Amanda showed tonight why people who talk about her as being the best in the world. Yes, Amanda, yes. Did it bother you seeing Heather in, the, in doing MMA? Yeah, I mean, it bothered, no, it, you know what bothered me? It bothered me thinking to myself that she had to do it to make a living. Oh, okay. And that's why, like, I mean, you know, I'm a little bit of a feminist because I had a strong mom, and, 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 and my mom was, like, you know, highly educated with a lot of women her age, and first generation, you know, you know, didn't do the things she did, and I, I was raised to believe women could do anything, because if I didn't believe that, my mother would have smacked me all over the fucking room. So, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I you know, I, I am pro-women. You know, and, and um, but but what women are starting to accomplish in our sport, people have to start paying attention. You know, and, and, and look, most of the people, at least live in the arena tonight, came to see the girls fight. Let's face reality. And, and you know what? For them to deliver, there was a lot of pressure on them to deliver. Think about it. I mean, it, you know, the way it worked out too, and, and Heather weathering that storm. If Heather would have gotten knocked out in the first round, people would have waved their hands and they said, oh, whatever, and women's boxing, da, 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 da. And, and you know what, Heather wasn't gonna go down. Heather wasn't, and Amanda knew it too. Amanda, Amanda's always said Heather's one of the toughest people on earth. I mean, he, Heather was gonna make it through that round. And, and I, I, my, my heart was in my mouth seeing how hurt she was. But I said to myself, she's gonna make it through this round. And when she does, she's probably gonna make it through this fight. I really felt that way. And, and, and when I watched her, like, again, she wasn't winning all those rounds, but she clearly was getting stronger, and her defense was getting better, and she fought, for her, she fought the best fight she could have fought. And, and, and to fight that kind of fight against a woman who is, is physically gifted as Amanda. Amanda's an extremely gifted athlete, athlete. I mean, she's a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous athlete. Why do you think women's MMA is seemingly a lot more sellable than women's boxing. I think it's more sellable. I think it just got more opportunity. I mean, obviously, this fight tonight was sellable. I mean, I, no disrespect, but if you would have let me put that fight on top of a card and let me put my, use my New York uh, roster of fighters and load this card up, I would have sold the room. I mean, it's sellable. It needs opportunity. And, 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 I, and I thank Eddie for buying this fight. Seriously, I thank Eddie for buying this fight tonight for giving these women an opportunity. I couldn't get Heather on to Showtime, I mean, years ago. I mean, I just couldn't. And, and I think, because you know what it was too, and I get it a little bit, they weren't that open. I mean, they were just starting to do women's boxing and they wanted to do the Claressas. Um, they didn't really give Amanda, Amanda did fight on Showtime Extreme. They wanted to do the Claressas and the Amandas and the pound for pound girls kind of thing. Right. But that's how what boxing is all about necessarily. It's also about the, the, the Arturo Gaddis and the Mickey Wards and, and, and the, you know, Thank, thank you, and, and that kind of fight, and um, and the zone and, and, and Eddie have have you know, it's not only about Katie, you know. Tonight, the zone had in a co-feature about uh, two girls from Brooklyn, and and the two girls from Brooklyn delivered. That was Clint. That was Clint. Yours. Well done. Well, we're gonna see a fight between you know, Amanda Soriano and Katie Moore. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this guy over here. Yeah, well, we're gonna see it. We're definitely gonna see yeah, it. Yeah. Um, Amanda signed for that fight before this fight. Casey's likely gonna have to uh, gonna have to do a deal with another one of those fighters because he, he also has the 140 pound world champion, which we're trying to make a deal with. Hopefully, we'll get there uh, this weekend to move up a weight class and try and become a two weight world champion. But she remains with her belts at 135, and the deal in place with Amanda is for a fight at 135. So Casey makes 135 easy. She may be able to make 130, but unlikely now. But 135, no problem. So a fight with Katie would, and Amanda would be at 135 pounds. And as Lou said tonight, I probably already said it, probably a headline fight here. 
Now, I don't believe there's been a women's headline fight no, regarding no. the boy in, you know. Ever. And I said this, I said this to Eddie earlier, I really believe it. I think that if that fight is the main event in the theater, I think that's, that fight will, it will go clean. It will like, there will not be a walk up. That fight will sell out in advance. That's how significant I think that fight is. And that fight's going to bring out the entire Irish population of New York and the entire Puerto Rican population of New York. Nice. And every New York um, boxing fan will want to see that fight. And it's not going to matter whether it's a girls' fight. No one's going to look at it that, that way. They're going to look at it as two of the best fighters in the world, two of the best pound for pound fighters in the world fighting each other. So possibly in March or in June, you want to Yeah, I think it's probably uh, more like February or March. To be honest with you. I mean, look, it's September now. Amanda's just done 10 rounds, so she can have a nice rest. Katie's going to go early November, but she's had a good break. She's been fighting sort of four times a year, and she hasn't boxed since June the 1st, so she's going to box November 2nd, and she'll be ready for February or March.